Moscow, Idaho, home of the Vandals, and once Party Central for both University of Idaho and Washington State University students. The drinking age in Idaho up till 1986 was 19, while in its neighboring state of Washington was 21. Tenant David Lemitz, who has worked for the Moscow Police Department for 26 years, has more on the subject and reason for the change. Idaho was one of the last states to change their drinking law to uh, the age of 21. And what Idaho was facing there was uh, government funding being cut substantially. And so they were kind of forced to change that drinking law uh, to 21. I'll say we lost billions of dollars of federal funding mm -hmm. for roads and, and various other projects. Uh, so they kind of held out over the heads of, of the lawmakers in the state of Idaho. And that's why the law changed. During that time, there were over 20 bars in the town. It's locations like this, the University of Idaho Human Resource Building, that show just how much the town has changed. Just over 20 years ago, the bar Murdoch stood here. A well-known dance club downtown was once called Cadillac Jacks, and that's how it got the name CJ's now. Further up north of CJ's is the Moscow Clinic, which used to be Rat House Pizza, and then got changed to the Black Rhino. Just south of CJ's is Mingles, which is a popular bar to play pool, and one of the few bars still standing. Years ago, it was known as the Corner Pocket. Champions, the sports bar, located on the corner of Main Street and 3rd, replaced the beach. On Main Street, bars like Spurs Tower, Xenon, and Mort's all didn't make it. That is no surprise according to John Burns, co-owner of the bar Murdoch's. He was quoted in the U of I yearbook, Spending in Moscow by 19 and 20 year olds is probably close to the $2 million estimate. Even though the drinking age has changed and the amount of bars have decreased, Lieutenant Lemitz says the effects of alcohol will still remain the same. I think we still have a long way to go. I think we still have a lot of problems on our campus. And not, not, not that that's unique to the University of Idaho. It's, it's a problem across all college campuses. And, mm -hmm. and alcohol is a very serious problem, you know, as you've seen just within the last couple of weeks with recent events here. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we still have a lot of problems with alcohol. We still have a long way to go. Moscow, Idaho will always have its dance clubs and sports bars, but it'll never have the active nightlife as it did 30 years ago.